Joining us now is Blockhead Jack Dorsey. That's the title he himself requested. Jack, we really appreciate you joining us. Thank you. Appreciate you both. Thank you for having me. Yeah, Absolutely. super grateful. Jack, uh, you've been uh, outspoken recently. Uh, why do you think that RFK Jr. is the best choice for the Democratic knee and the best, the Democratic nominee and the best candidate in the field right now? Um, first and foremost, uh, to have a candidate to be president of the United States that is focused on peace and ending uh, all these wars and really focusing on looking at some of the deeper issues that we've we've had, especially as he states around regulatory capture, um, the military industrial complex. He has intimate knowledge of all these things. He's you know worked uh, extremely hard and tiresome in, in these fields and made a lot of progress. I've, I, you know, I came across him um, this year and I, I really listened and I kind of went through all of his podcasts uh, almost every episode. And I appreciate how much of a grasp he has of all the issues he speaks to. I appreciate that he's curious and I appreciate that he comes at everything from a more of a humanitarian angle. Mm -hmm. um, there's a deep, deep sense of humanity and actually helping people. And there's an edge as well. There's, there's, you know, no, no fear in exploring topics that are a little bit controversial and, and maybe in the future. Um, so in all in all, just absolutely refreshing from, from what I've seen from the, the whole field. And I'm not really usually in, uh, I, I don't, you know, really speak out much on who I'm choosing or, or why. Um, but I don't know, I just feel like our country, uh, needs his leadership. And do you think it would be important for the Democratic Party to host primary debates so that um, voters have a chance to view all of these candidates and their alternatives? Absolutely. I, I, it just it would be silly to not have open debates, to not have open primaries, because it feels like um, hiding or everything that is everything is planned and and you know already determined, and. I don't think that builds trust. And right now we need to build as much trust as, as possible, open up and be as transparent as possible, um, and really let the people see and decide for themselves.